I'm Amy Richardson from Ireland and I work with Dennis in Ireland and in the EDF I serve for the Youth Committee but I also love playing art music, dancing with my friends and doing the voice of the cartoon character for Punky. For me EDF is a very well organised movement of disabled people in Europe, is advocating for persons with all types of disability to ensure that nobody is left behind. EDF is a very inclusive organisation. In my view, I find that it is the fact that EDF deals with sort of is it horizontal issues, deals with all the various areas of disability in all of its work programmes. We are bringing in expertise from the grassroots level and therefore we represent the interest of individuals with disability as well. My colleagues are the leaders of the European Disability Movement. Janis, the President, Isabel, Donata, Rodolfo, and many others. Today, the European Union is formed by 27 countries with over 500 million inhabitants. 15% of its population suffers some kind of disability, that's 80 million Europeans. During the past 15 years, EDF has represented all of them and their families at the heart of the EU decision process. We have an office in Brussels with dozens of people. They work in different fields. The leaders of the disability movement have disabilities themselves or they are family of people with disabilities. We have committees on every important issue. I am part of EDF's Youth Committee. That is why I'm going to the EU to explain what's important to me. In my role of a, a mother of a two young persons with a, disability and uh, high level of support needs. I am here to participate in the conference uh, to bring the voice of my children. It's important that we are here in Brussels because at the moment with what is happening um, throughout Europe in terms of the austerity measures and how they're impacting on the lives of disabled people, it's important that we are here where the Commission is and where the Parliament is so we can lobby. I would like to congratulate at the end on those cities who have been shortlisted. I'm Rodolfo Catani, the Secretary General of uh, the European Disability Forum. The most accessible smartphone is the most popular one. Sometimes uh, technical evolution brings solutions to problems, but sometimes also new barriers. Policies that are being discussed here are uh, the policies that are going to um, set the framework for, for what is going to, to happen with disability issues uh, at European level in the coming years. All of that is something that's going to have an impact um, on European, Europeans with disabilities at local level. The State of the Union was a really important uh, achievement for persons with disabilities. It has never happened for any other organisation before. For the first time, we brought together the three EU presidents for a unique meeting. The president of the European Commission, Jose Manuel Barroso, the President of the European Parliament, Jerzy Buzek, and the President of the European Council, Herman Van Rompuy. We explained to them what to do to build a more inclusive Europe. We told them why it is important to have us around the table and to listen to what is really important to improve our lives. They now realise how important it is to meet every two years, to check on the achievements and the issues where the EU has to work better. Now that we know that the disability is acknowledged as being a major topic, it is the work of the European Disability Forum to make sure that the European Union delivers on its promises.
I do my best to make my voice heard. Some of it is not always easy, but uh, I do try and I really like just saying things, taking part and uh, being included.